everybody, Houston here for another XRP update. I hope you guys are doing well, having a great day or a great night. And before jumping to the charts, don't forget to hit the like button, share with your friends, subscribe as well. We are exchanging my knowledge for time, both are precious. Let's go. So I'm going to use uh, two charts. The one, this one from Coin Paprika, and the other one for Bitstamp. Okay. Uh, first things first, always the macro before the micro. And uh, also let's burst some uh, burst some food. Just a second. If you already saw my previous video, you know what these lines and those levels uh, mean. Just a second. Okay, so uh, a lot of people were asking where is going to be the bottom, where they should buy, where they should sell. I'm never going to tell you to say uh, you should buy here, so you should sell there. Never, okay? So watch my videos, stay updated. And uh, yeah, uh, so uh, what we are looking here for, it's a possible bottom for xrp so that's the scenario everybody's talking about uh, how much is going to drop in etc and uh, the thing here is we have this uh, this bottom here okay which so far it's not the the let's say the last low okay because we don't know it's not true it's not we don't have evidence for such okay but for the sake of speculation, we are going to address this level here, okay? Just to, to have something to watch and have a better understanding. So you guys remember when I talked about this level here? That was the transition for this level to the next level, okay? And uh, if, okay, so if xrp is going to make a new low and if only we are going to look for the previous low and something in between this range here which is something between six and uh 12 cents okay the, the proper level here it's uh 12 not 11 yes so as you guys can see if and if only just a second uh, okay now, now let's take a look here just a second it's too short let me see hold your heads cool your jets just a second okay so uh, for a new low if again if okay and this is only going to happen uh, for example uh, if bitcoin the uh, ha have a sell-off way strong it is possible for xrp to make a new low okay but uh, like i said we don't have uh, technical evidence for such and so that's the kind of scenario we are not looking at for now if it happens we will know uh, which levels uh, can be the targets so again it's going to be 12 or 9 cents okay uh, so it is possible for like something like uh, 4 6 yes it is possible but very very unlikely okay because when we talk about uh, Fibonacci targets the market will decide what is the target. Only the market will decide. So nobody knows. Only the market makers, the top ones. Okay. So it's a mystery. We don't know how this is going to play out. But again, this is the range we are looking for. Okay. Uh, 12 and 9. If you guys remember, I talked I talk about those levels that are always around XRP. And uh, also, uh 12 
it's also a, uh, for example, 9 plus 3 equals 12. Okay, so, and if you break down in numerology, you end up with 12. So, just uh, off charts uh, stuff. And let's take a closer look here. Just a second. Uh, okay, we saw a lot of folks talking about moon and bursts and diamonds all the the tools from the Hackett wagon and uh, back in the day I said guys watch Bitcoin Bitcoin is the market leading indicator okay like it or not doesn't matter uh, okay so we had a, a, a full breach here like uh, not a straight but, a, but a, a dark cloud which is bearish and then we end up rejected uh, with an inverted hammer which was bearish abandoned bearish baby and then another bridge following Bitcoin up okay so as you guys can see it's following Bitcoin okay and uh, let's take a map here just a second okay so as you guys know this one let me see okay so this one is accurate So second it's not this one okay hold on let's work this again so there is two ways to look at this behavior okay uh, the first one is from the last top to the the, the last bottom and as you guys can see we made it to the 50 and to the 50 only which is very bearish okay uh, we saw a lot of other coins making uh, their way uh, to the 8080 level okay and XRP is still below the 50 and now below the golden which is bearish there is nothing bullish uh, about it okay and uh, if we are going to measure the last uh, last action, just a second. Okay, so now the, the other way around is from here to here. I'm not going to take off the, the log scale because it's going to mess up the chart again. So just for you guys to have an idea what we are looking here for, it's the retrace. Okay, so this is the setup for the retrace, not the other one. The other one is for expansion, not contraction. Uh, and so, as you guys can see, uh, if, okay, if, let's say if, and if only, uh, we reach uh, 11 cents or 12, this range here is going to be a 100% retrace for this range, okay, which again, it's way bearish and uh, the next target is above uh, the 50 percent around this level here which is also inside the nine okay and uh, I'm going to show you another thing just a second okay so uh, back in the day okay uh, the proper way to measure was this guy from this guy right here and this scenario here we were not able to make it to the 50 okay which was also bearish and as it's exactly uh, the same almost the same scenario that we have right now just a second for XRP here okay almost the same scenario and uh, uh, for, for this one right here, just for, for you to have a, a better understanding, when, uh, when I call it for, the, for this big move here, around the winter, this was a falling wedge, okay? And we had this strong impulsive move, which gave us, gave us let me see here. Uh, so from this guy here, it was more than 100% move which was bullish but we only had this move 
because right here we stop it below the 50 percent so it's like uh, uh, the amount in price was not enough to pay the bulls for later bullish continuation that's why we end up with this way stronger move right here and uh, so for this one we are going to face the same scenario so we have a, a small retrace here compared with the dump with the sell which is way way poor okay so th these lines here are, are Fibonacci okay uh, I'm not going to draw because it's going to to break the, the floor uh, the, uh, the lower level so if and if you only let's say uh, doesn't matter if it's going to be double bottom which is bullish or a low another lower low the thing is XRP it's oversold for a long period of time and soon or later they will have to pay off the bulls okay and uh, just a second okay let's go and so uh, any move to this level here just a second okay so uh, any move here or above the 50 or at the 50 is go it's probably remember remember my words please probably I'm not calling this out I'm not saying this is going to happen uh, uh, views didn't talk about possible targets that's it you know no that's not how it works okay possible scenarios for possible targets because it's not written it didn't happen yet so let's watch and see how this will play out and again we will read what is written okay so uh, what what I expect for a double bottom or a new low uh, okay doesn't matter if this range here we are probably going to have a way way strong up move okay uh, by the reasons that I uh, describe it to you and now let's take a look again here on the bigger picture so as you guys can see we never never ever had a strong move only very teeny small correction moves but even the, the, the this one here what's like uh, almost 400 percent okay but was nothing nothing compared with all this move right here okay and uh, we know that's not the way uh, the markets move okay they cannot sell forever and they cannot buy forever okay otherwise everybody will start to short and sell and this is it and everybody will will uh, make a lot of money and become rich that's not how it works and we just saw today on down Jones and not only on down Jones okay so nothing goes up or down forever and uh, just a second hold your heads let me find okay so here is one hold on so this one is for the summer and this one right here it's for the auto now let's take a closer look again let's let's uh, call the others too just a second it's going to be fast so this one is for the spring and the last one is for the winter scenarios that I call it out way way before okay so uh, here we had uh, a uh, the, the, the stop of momentum in between okay but uh, it was way before uh, the spring so like one month and uh, 15 days so it's still inside the the winter pivot theory okay which also we had again strong move right before the spring and I also mentioned uh, this scenario right here 
So I also talked about uh, the summer pivot, okay? And it looks like it's going to trigger before the summer, which we were talking about the second week of June. And uh, so as you guys can see, we had uh, some squares here. Just a second. Okay, so I, I don't know if it's crystal clear for you. Okay, so what we are expecting, the scenario we just talked about, okay, this would be a double bottom. Uh, it doesn't have to be here, okay, but uh, if happens in the next two weeks, uh, it's going to be uh, the summer pivot for a possible bottom, okay. Uh, it is also true that it can happen uh, way forward right after the 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 summer pivot and the next scenarios that we are going to look it's this uh, the it's the autumn the autumn and possible the winter if you saw my previous forecast uh, there was a big gap right here if i'm not wrong okay but unfortunately we had the the event that we can talk about and it delayed everything okay and so now let's jump into the bitstamp chart. A second. So as you guys uh, saw, we lost all the the bullishness from ODL. Uh, I believe you guys saw the the news, and it's not here anymore. Okay, it's just gone, and this is bearish in the short time frame, in my opinion. Okay short time frame not the in the bigger picture of things uh, just a second okay but it's still as you guys can see uh, this divergence here it's even bigger compared with Bitcoin and Ethereum okay among all the top 10 XRP has the biggest uh, bullish divergence so in the bigger scheme of things it's bullish in my opinion and what do we have here so uh, this is not a uh, it's not a bullish scenario okay but we know that falling patterns are friendly okay uh, so let's take a quick look here again this was our first bearish pattern that broke uh, had a premature bear break and again here people were calling for moon hack it and then here again calling for one dollar etc and yeah so not a big change in the also again here some believe it or not some people were calling this scenario here as a bottle and as you guys can see this is in between this is not a bottom at all okay so it's like this we have a uh, circle and people some people are reading as a square they're calling such thing as a square that's why they always end up wrong not to mention all the the diamonds diamonds all over hackett diamonds but okay let's go let's keep going just a second okay i already saw here yes let's jump into the three days let's check OBV okay so OBV was amazing fantastic and we don't know how it's going to behave now that, that the ODL is gone for the previous purpose and as you guys can see here we already made a new low from buyers volume which is uh, bearish and also uh, right now XRP is following Bitcoin and Bitcoin it's going down maybe not in the short time frame but it will keep resuming uh, the down move soon let's jump into the daily okay so uh this is a uh, this candle right here you won't see this one in other exchanges okay uh we had a lot of long weeks on bitstamp for litecoin ethereum 
uh, XRP. Okay, so we are not going to read this as buyer's rejection. Okay, that's not the case, not the scenario. But uh, let, let's take a look here, just a second. Oh, hold on. Let's take a look first on Fibonacci. We are going from body to body. Okay, so as you guys can see, uh, I showed you in the other chart, uh, we made it above the 50, but not, uh, there is no trigger for 61, which is not the best scenario. And we are trading below the 50, which is bearish. That is nothing bullish here, okay? And, uh, and right now, trading below, 38 20 percent which is also bearish because now they will need a lot of firepower to came above this level right here which in my opinion is not going to happen and now let's jump into the uh, just a second okay hold on let's jump into the four hours Okay, if you saw my my last uh, my last uh, updates on XRP, you you remember that I called for all the, these bearish structures, and again let's draw it. So a strong sell and no strong comeback, impulsive wave in a bearish way, all breaking bearish. Then uh, we had another one. This one right here. And then they gave up all this flat activity here was bearish I mentioned this before then uh, and also this scenario right here I said that it was bearish because it's a descending pattern in a flat bottom which is bearish okay the only uh, reason XRP blo uh, break bullish was because Bitcoin had a strong move up. That's the only reason. Otherwise, we would have the bear break even before. Okay, and uh, again here, uh, ascending in a bearish way, and then right after the same thing, as volatility starts to fade, the the bearish behavior fades, and we see no follow through from the buyer side. None, almost none. And here, right here, just a second, I'm going to show you. And so, uh, right here, we, we started to develop the same kind of structure that we had here. The only difference is the size, because back in the day we had more volatility, and, and now, right now we are not having it, okay? which is natural and uh, so as you guys can see flat bottom descending patterns not bullish at all at all because for bullish patterns we are always looking for higher lows okay always chasing higher lows and not flat lows which is all the way bearish okay I don't know how people can call these uh, such scenarios are as bullish or moon, etc., etc. Okay, now let's take a quick look on the lower time frames. Uh, if you saw my previous video, of, uh, previous updates for Ethereum and Bitcoin, you will see XRP is just following. Okay, uh, there is nothing new here or nothing different just following along and uh, like I said this kind of uh, comeback here is by the uh, orders placed before or uh, FOMO just in time okay people that believe they are missing the missing the, the boat and whatever and so uh, that's not bullish at all okay 
by a matter of fact this is bearish as you guys can see let me make a draw here so this is a inside trade okay and if we measure uh, again as you guys can see in just a second oh it's here so uh, you guys see the, the line of the golden Fibonacci setup right okay can you see all this activity right here we had people trying to defend and right after they got smashed and why because people are looking for support and resistance levels they're not addressing what's happening in the bigger uh, picture okay and uh, so um, yes the inside inside bar trading here which is bearish bears are in control and if we measure this range only you will be able to see the weakness So as you guys can see, uh, the the XRP bulls stopped at the golden mini. Crystal clear, right? And so the thing now is, if they are not able to stay to stay trading ab uh, above the 50, it's going to be bearish, okay? And even if they do, and let's say they even make a bull break here what we end up with rising wedge all the way bearish and what if they we keep trading sideways here it's also bearish bear flag what if they descend because they will keep finding value here okay doesn't matter what is the risk reward they don't care they, they care about uh, small profits And so they will exchange small profits and they will give more firepower to the bears. Actually, it's something like this. So uh, people who believe they are, they are somewhat bulls or doing uh, the proper moves, they actually they are working uh, to, feel, uh, to, feel, uh, to feel the fire flow for, for the bears. Okay. Let's take a closer look on the 30. Yes, the 50, 15. Yeah, so as you guys can see now, uh, there is no follow through. And uh, again, don't try to draw lines like this. This is not financial device. This is for entertainment purpose only. Okay, so people who make uh, lines like this will end up wrong. In, uh, in in matter of few minutes because this scenario here it's not complete okay so i'm not going to make any draws here because not complete and can change at any time but uh what we know so far it's the new low higher low lower high another lower high and right now we are going to the moment of decision which uh, if they flat again they will give more firepower to the to the bears and if they still trading sideways the bears will jump in also so it's a very bad scenario for the bulls and uh, yeah we will keep watching and always remember just a second always remember what matters is the bigger time frame of things okay and uh, guys, I, I believe this is it for now. I think we covered everything for XRP. Uh, I will take a quick look on the on the chat. Just give me a minute, please. Hold your hats, cool your jets. Okay, let's go. Sean, eighty eighty. Oh, XRP bags. You know the bag man here. Hello, my friend. Sean, eighty eighty. Yo. Kyle, Slade, cool. Morocco, Wilson is the man. Keep up, bro. Thank you. Ajan, uh, just a second. Uh, hello, my friend. I feel blind without you. Just trying to share some uh, insights. Michael Breeds, hello, guys. Hello. 
Arthur Gallagher, hello my friend, John, hello again my friend, Big Deep coming tomorrow, who knows? Uh, Nick Mo Mozizek, time for the best TA, thank you buddy, thanks for the support. Uh, Ruff, hello my friend, Johan, Justin and Chained. <laughs> Uh, many updates in a row, yes, yes, because I said I, I will do and uh, I am also documenting everything for the, you know, for the, for people who arrive later or even for my, you know, uh, personal achievements. Uh, look, XRP $200 before 2025 for sure, no doubt, maybe 2021, 2022. Banji, you are doing a great job. job. Keep up the good work, Winston. Thank you, Banji. Banji, my friend. Johan. Don Jonas update soon. Yes, sure. Short on 27k. Yes, yes, that one was epic. Uh, XRP, bigger stash to the short cave. <laughs> yes, yes. Sabai, thank you, Winston. You are very welcome, my friend. Uh, Greg, my brother. Greg, that man. Sabai, what's your outlook now? What, what do you mean outlook? Because my English is very bad, sorry. Uh, Carl, Whitehead, thank you, you're very welcome. Ruff, thank you, great video, you are welcome, my friend. Jesus Torrescusa, muchas gracias, Justin, you're very welcome, my friend. Hey, Jan, I might be blind, but still seeing Peter's Nightmare and Diamonds. Yes, no, th there was a guy, I forget his name. He was also calling for multiple diamonds, one in the top of the other. The first one broke bearish, and I said, it's not bullish. And uh, he was like, well, you know too much, you, are, you know, you're the big guy. It's not about me. It's about the charts. The charts is showing it's bearish. How we can, con uh, how we can have a bullish target from a bearish pattern? There's no such thing. I, I don't know what they are doing. Uh, so, um, uh, I might be blind, yes, yes, so, uh, Jose Luis Miranda Guerrero, thanks from Mexico, you're very welcome, Jose, uh, king of fun, is it safe to drop a big bowling ball on my head, XRP 5k, <laughs> roof recon, make sure you smash the like button, yes, guys, smash that then like button, smash it, blast the button, you can do it for free. So, uh, Jace, thank you for information. You're very welcome, my friend. Um, Greg, I think it's obvious that it's bearish in the short term. Yes. I don't understand why people translate that to bearish in the long term. We live in a society full of illogical people. It's so exhausting. Yes, and it's also related to the number of people who lose money in the markets. We have 92% plus people losing money. And, of course, 92% of all content out there is going to be wrong. Not to mention the wrongdoers, the clap traps. Uh, you know, it's like, let's make the clap trap economy great again. <laughs> A friend said this phrase, very funny. So, yeah, you know, it's like a meteor is coming, it's dropping. And people is say, whoa, life is going to happen. No, it's going to wipe out life. So they look at a square and say it's a circle. They, they look at a circle and say it's a square. You know, it's, uh, I, I don't know, it's the Hackett Wagon show. I can't understand. Um, I have just no coordinates by you. Thank, uh, thanks for your effort again and again. You guys are very welcome. Just trying to share some light in this Hackett land. Garrett Flynn, Robbie Art win six seven cents, please. Yes, yeah, so Robbie Art has a theory, which we don't have any evidence, not a, even technical evidence, because he never show a single chart. So a guy talking about price behavior for one asset, but he's not showing a single chart, and his theory is based on top of magical numbers. numbers from his hat. Well, something is very wrong. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, so it's a. Uh, in my opinion, hobby art is just a spoiled 
a spoiled kid looking for attention and uh, he's, he's having attention for kids from the, the opium gang and they are always end up uh, in the wrong way so follow garbage end up in the wrong way no news uh, King of Fun do you own Ledger Nano X? I'm not going to tell you <laughs> Greg I'm interested in learning how to trade more from you uh, do you offer any types of personal trainings? Uh, so we have the Champions Club, which is a, comu a community for private community. I charge 120 US dollars. Uh, there, I, you will learn some things like uh, risk management and uh, some researches of my uh, trading setup that I am developing for the Forex market. And also, we will, we will learn about my uh, research on top of Fibonacci. Not 100%, but like 95%, because I haven't concluded it yet. And uh, soon, uh, our website will be online. And also, my trading, uh, my technical analysis and trading setup program. Okay, so uh, it's going to have like two or three methods for. Uh, proper technical analysis and two or three trading setups okay because the trading setup for crypto is not the same for forex and i have i have two for crypto that can also be used for stocks so there is a lot of things that i have to keep working on uh, it's not easy it takes a lot of time but uh if you are interested you can send a, a message from me on twitter just write a handle message, message and tag me and I will answer you as soon as possible. Do you like LXCX? Uh, no. Uh, like I said, I only focus on uh, projects that have solid uh, performance and products. That the ones that are solving, uh, already solving issues. Okay? But I'm not calling out for shit coins. Okay? I'm not doing that thing. Uh, John, hello, oh, hello, John. How are you doing? Night, mate. Night. Uh, the solar thing video was awesome. Yes, indeed. Uh, if you guys didn't saw yet, take a look. It's the sun cycle against the markets. Great content. Nick, uh, definitely, definitely can vote for Champions Club. The knowledge pays for itself. Ten x. Uh, yes, uh, I did a quick scout. We, we are like uh, nine, 95 wins and 27 losses. If you account each win for 1%, well, that's a lot of money on top of the whole capital. So yeah, um, one uh, BW, thank you for your insight. You're very welcome, my friend. Clavi, Cheno, Houston, I have a research study that may help you with your study of time and historical event patterns. Would you like me to send it to you on Twitter? Yes, yes, it would be nice. We can exchange a few things. Uh, you can send me a message and tag me. And right after, I will send a DM to you, okay? So, guys, I believe this is it for now. We covered a lot of things. And, uh, yes, uh, I, I hope... We, we reach this, do, uh, this bottom as soon as possible so we can uh, break free from this awful price behavior on XRP and uh, yeah, this is it so guys, thanks again, thanks for your time, thanks for your patience thanks for your support uh, and remember, share with your friends, subscribe, hit the bell uh, let, there's another message, just a second uh, to what extent do you believe XRP will be used? Do you think it has the possibility to be part of the next world reserve currency or bas basket of currencies or even the backbone of the entire global? So the, the thing about XRP, XRP, it's already, it already belongs into the new uh, global economy, uh, economy model. Okay, so it's already working. And uh, on top of that, it is possible to be, to become a, a a a asset in the EMF. Yes, it is possible. Uh, 
but so far we don't have any technical evidence for such so it's a guess but uh, it's possible okay and uh, about money being moved on top of XRP yes no doubt because uh, for example a bank uh, Bank of America has their coin and JP Morgan has their coin so the exchange inside the US from one coin to the other can be made on top of XRP so that's possible and for remittances and payments of course it's going to be made uh, by XRP but uh, for uh, payments inside the United States for example they are not going to be made using XRP because it's not necessary okay and again this is my fifth sense about it I made a lot of research uh, about XRP, Ripple, what's happening blockchain uh, since 2017 but uh, how this will play out we still don't know okay we know that uh, Ripple and XRP is working uh, also Ethereum for example okay so that's the, the things that we have to, to watch out in the bigger picture of things uh, do you know about casino coin or NPXS? yes I traded both not both the, the NPXS back in the day uh, casino coin in my opinion is very awful the chart is very ugly I'm not touching and not uh, uh, today guys I only foc uh, my focus is XRP and Ethereum okay and uh, somewhat Bitcoin okay I don't support Bitcoin but the, the thing is uh, investment perspective that's what it is about okay so it's come when it comes down to make money that's it and uh, by the crash yes yes thanks a lot for sharing your knowledge you're very welcome Johan so guys this is it thank you and uh, have a great day or a great night and I will see you guys soon thank you